time to put the brand new battery in the cheapest BMW i3 in America to the test. New battery, how far will it go? The EPA says it'll do 72 miles. Let's see if we can beat that. I'm gonna pick up some friends from my apartment because they're in town to visit me and um, unfortunately they're gonna be burning up the whole time without AC. Right away we're gonna put it on Eco Pro Plus and that changes it from 71 miles to 98 miles. Look at that. We're gonna try to get all 98 miles and if we can get to 100, I'll be thrilled. So let's, uh, let's do this thing. <laughs> Yo, Whoa. Uh, get in. It's uh, it's oh, hold on. Suicide door. So just pull that. <gasps> I've never been in a car that. Does By the that. way, um, I'm gonna have you sit on towels because you might be sweating, and I don't, <laughs> I don't want sweat stains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You on got these it. wool seats. I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the i3. Are you kidding? This is awful. This Why is does awesome. it smell so nice, David? <laughs> well, that's not. That's just new car smell, basically. Is it? Okay, so where do you guys want to go? What about Santa Monica? Ah, oh, Santa Monica. Want to go to Santa Monica? Sure. Santa Monica it is. Here we go, baby. Route options. Avoid highways. If you wouldn't mind wielding that. Mm -hmm. How many miles is that? It is 18. 18. We have 103 to kill. It's going to wow. take... If you go the speed limit, it's going to take 47 minutes. 47 minutes for 18 miles. Now, <laughs> I've just run some math in my head, and this doesn't quite work. If the range number is correct, so it says we have 96 miles left. If that's correct, we'll go 110 miles on one charge, which would be roughly 38 miles more than, like, legitimately 50% more than the EPA rated yeah, range. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, we're going up a steep grade here. We're gonna start seeing range drop precipitously. We're at 88 miles. I think pretty soon we're gonna be at 85, by the guess. I'm keeping it at 40 miles an hour cruise. Since we got in, we've lost, what, nine? We've gone nine and we've lost 14. More than that, 18. It started at 105 when you got in. 86, okay, we've lost a couple miles now. Going up this grade be interesting to see how many we pick up going down it though exactly so i think what's happening is the computer is adjusting its prediction of how i drive and it's you know a hill to the computer is the same thing as like a fast acceleration you know because it needs to send more um current to the motors so it thinks i drive aggressively now and so it's adjusting the overall range when i go downhill it should completely cancel that out just driving through nice parts of LA that I've never seen before because I'm always on the highway. Avoid highways is the move if you're just trying to chill, especially on like a weekend or something. So I think in all likelihood, this 79 miles of range we have now is gonna end up being 72 or something because the last 10 miles on this thing, it, it's kind of like a gas tank. You know how it like quick, like once you get to half, it like freaking yeah. drops. Yeah, what is that? I gotta do an article on that. All right, we've traveled 28 miles. There are 78 miles of range left. So that means 106 miles of total range, if this is all correct. Ooh, we better get back into Eco Pro Plus mode. Who am I? You know, I used to drive a truck and, you know, do manly shit. Now I'm talking about Eco Pro Plus mode. That is manly shit, David. Yeah, you hypermile EVs. That's nothing manlier than that. I'm gonna be honest, it's fun. Real men care about the environment and women. Look, I love a stick shift and I love burning gasoline and having a good time, but this is good. This, this is thing. great. Welcome to Santa Monica Pier. Ah, the Santa Monica Pier. Ain't it beautiful? I love it. It is. Yeah. Amazing. Good stuff, all right? All right. Let's go. Yep. All right, we're going to go to Topanga because uh, if we go to Capitol Records, it'll take us 54 minutes to go only 14 miles, and that is an average of roughly 18 miles an hour, and we should be averaging roughly 30. Hypermiling an electric car is different than hypermiling a gasoline car. We're probably all aware that gas cars tend to get their best fuel economy on the highway. 
in top gear where they're just cruising and not stopping and going. In electric car, things are different. They tend to get poor range on the highway because aerodynamic drag requires lots of energy to overcome. Aerodynamic drag goes up with the square of speed. So if you double your speed from 30 miles an hour to 60 miles an hour, your drag goes up fourfold and that requires a lot of energy. That's obviously the case with gasoline cars as well, but gasoline cars get so much worse fuel economy in the city, in part because especially older cars have to idle at stoplights and that's just pure waste. Your engine's running, you're not moving. Whenever you hit the brakes in a gasoline car, you're just turning your car's kinetic energy into friction, into heat. It's just pure waste. Whereas in an electric car, when you hit the brake pedal or let off the accelerator pedal, the vehicle slows down as a result of the electric motor's drag when it acts as a generator to recharge your batteries. And that's why if you wanna maximize your efficiency in an electric car, stay off the highway, get into the city. If you can cruise at, at a low speed, that's good. But if you get to traffic, don't fret. Okay, we are on the Pacific Coast Highway, which is the most beautiful road or highway uh, on earth. Okay, in California. Okay, around here. <laughs> this car is more expensive to drive every day than my 15 mile per gallon Jeep J10 pickup truck. Two main reasons. First, insurance costs are higher. Second, the big reason is that this thing has tires that cost a thousand dollars a set you don't have an option for Jeez. a third party tire you have to pay a thousand bucks and worse than that this thing goes through tires once every roughly fifteen thousand miles my j10 its tires will last forty thousand miles minimum and then i'll get new ones for 300 bucks a set no problem so we're on the pacific coast highway pacific ocean there on the left we're going 40 miles an hour we've got 72 miles of range left we've been doing this how long what time is it 6 20 we've been doing this for at least two hours two and a half hours yeah two and a half hours we started with 98 miles of range 97 98 miles we've lost therefore we've lost 25 or 26 miles and we've gone 37 so we have we're traveling more than we're losing. It's not really making mathematical sense, but that's fine. One point I'd like to make is that um, if this vehicle is able to hit the 105 miles of range that it's predicting, that becomes even more impressive when you think about how small this battery is. This is a 22 kilowatt hour battery. And that's important because the most expensive major part of an EV is the battery. So if you look at a Tesla Model S, You've got a you know a ridiculously huge battery. It has 300 miles of range, but you're not using that every day. You're using maybe 50 miles a day on average. So all of that cost that goes into that battery and all of the mining and filth that goes into producing it is basically just sitting there so that you can go on a road trip once a month. This i3 makes the most of its tiny battery. A small car with a little battery is a great thing and, and, and if you think about it you can get more families into electric cars if they all have small batteries because that means the cars are cheaper and it means that resource wise you can build more cars on the same materials uh, the same rare earth metals that go into you know what would, might be one giant battery pack for some reason i need to start recording with my cell phone i'm told what's going on here so we're having to ration batteries because we've gone through so many GoPro batteries legitimately that you don't have this camera anymore. So if you're going to record the mileage on the car, you got to use your phone, like you said. Okay, I'll use so my that's... phone to, okay. All right, let's go. We're carving Canyon Roads in the I-3. I think it handles great. Doesn't have a ton of body roll, low center of gravity. Skinny tires aren't going to help it a whole lot with grip, but uh, hasn't been a problem yet. And when it is, we'll be uh, off that cliff. <laughs> Ooh. Hypermiling in ideal conditions is pretty useless of a test. You have to hypermile in, you know, people have hills in their city, like San Francisco. We're down to 95 miles of overall range. Wow. Earlier we were seeing, what, 112, 113 at one point? I think 113 was the highest, yeah. 113 was the highest, so we're down to 95. It's funny, though, because you started with, what, 97? Started with 97. So... 
we're going to get a lot of this back. We're going up a hill. It is clear at this point that this battery is a new battery. I was wondering if the dealership actually replaced it because they told me it would take six to eight weeks yep. and it took them 10 days. <laughs> um, this is a new battery. I managed to get the cheapest BMW i3 in the country with a brand new battery for, yeah, for 10.5. This thing loves city traffic. It really does. As soon as we got into some traffic, some low speed stuff, it gained a lot of, you know, what it's lost in the, in the canyon. So 39 miles of range, we've, tra we've traveled 57. So that's 96 miles of range. We could get this thing to a hundo, baby. Woo! I hope we get to 100. That would be great. This range situation is a bit dire because I will admit, I kind of expected this to not take this long. And <laughs> it's taking way longer than I expected. And I think some people might be mad at me at this point because I really kind of screwed some scheduling up. So I'm going to take the blame, but the i3, the battery just won't die. We were just at like 32 miles and uh, overall expected range of like, I don't know, it was like low 90s. Now we're up to 37 miles, overall expected range of almost 105. <laughs> I just, I, this is gonna be a long night, I guess, I, or not. 38, it just went up, did you see that? It just went up. We're sitting at a red light. Look at this, the film crew is actually ditching us. Their GoPro batteries are dead. Their cards are full, and they're completely out of patience. Chris is just frustrated. He's just completely ditching us. What the? Well, that's it for tonight. We're just gonna have to film the rest tomorrow morning. This battery on this i3 is just not dying. Day two, what do we got left on the battery? Let's start this thing up. We've gone 88.8 .8 miles. It says we have, okay, 11 in comfort mode. Let's go down to Eco Pro Plus. 13 in Eco Pro Plus mode. It is hot uh, this morning, and um, I'm not gonna get any AC, so let's just do this thing. We're trying to get to an electric vehicle car show at a place called CSUN, California State University Northridge. Sounds right-ish. Um, unfortunately, the EV car show is 16 miles away. And the car says we have 13 miles left. So um, I hope we make it. I'm not about to show up to a car show <laughs> with a gasoline motor running. It's not gonna be a good look. So e I3, I need, you to, I need you to pull this off for me. If we're able to make it 16 miles there, we've already traveled 89 miles. If we're able to travel 16 miles, we will have gone 105 miles. I don't know that we're gonna make it to this car show. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now I'm getting worried about making that 100. I wanna make 100 miles. We're at 90.5 with 11 miles left. That's 101.5. That's over 100, but there's not a lot of margin. I wanna at least hit one of those goals. Let's get it to 100, come on. I'm driving as carefully as I can. I wanna get there on battery power. I don't know how, what else can I do? We've got no AC on. We're in Eco Pro Plus. I'm driving slowly. I, 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 there's nothing else. I don't have any le more levers to pull. 95.6 miles, five miles of range left. I'm worried it's going to go from five miles to like zero instantly. Shit. It went from four to zero. Zero miles, it says on that screen. Zero miles on the main screen. Is it over? It's over. It's over. We made it to 96.7 miles. We got the gasoline engine on, it's over. The goal was to hit 100 miles and we only made it 96.7. Oh, so close, so close, we were there. Incredibly valiant effort by the little i3. Okay, so you've seen our initial inspection of this cheapest i3 in America. You've seen my first drive review. You've now seen a sort of pseudo hypermiling max range drive and now we're gonna do a deep dive on the engineering behind this carbon fiber wonder.